What's going on guys? It's your boy Tor and we're back for another video. So we've got the news, we've got the stats and skills finally for round seven of uh, the thousand year blood war uh, summons. Uh, it's called Founders and of course you guys already know the characters that are coming out. It is Ichibe, Ohetsu, and Orihime. And of course it's a double chance uh, step up spanner or double chance, more than double chance. Uh, at a certain point, but still step up sam summons and so uh, we've got the stats and skills and also a description of the characters So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, Go ahead and jump right into it and talk about uh, the, the, the summons and so um, and there is individual banners which have been Updated and are a lot better, but let's go ahead and just talk here. So uh, Ichibe Ohetsu Horihime double chance banner coming out on the 30th so in three days and ends on the 10th of January and of course it's a, a step up banner uh, steps one through seven right and then of course first step is not as free uh, but let's go ahead and just get right into the information Ichibe Hyosube uh, controller of all of, of uh, all the black in the world Ichibe is a melee uh, normal attack character with the Espada killer ability all of his attacks, except for his third strong attack, have a chance to inflict weaken, which uh, combines excellently with his flurry and poise skills. He also comes armed with the start barrier of plus 10 and the new pierce barrier skill, which gives him the ability to harm enemies when they uh, have a barrier activated. Finally, finally, he can also unlock paralysis immunity. So Ichibe is actually going to be good and that was the biggest concern uh you know when we first when we looked at the gameplay because we weren't able to look at his gameplay all that well and we didn't see frenzy and we didn't see flurry but it is confirmed that he is getting flurry and so he is not getting cucked that is perfect uh, his stats are 1105 stamina 781 attack 379 defense 364 fo uh, focus and 624 sp Again, he has a spotted killer. That might not be the greatest, uh, but at the same time, who gives a shit, right? He's gonna still be amazing. Uh, the Futen Taisatsu Ryu. I probably mispronounced all that, but whatever. It is a, a Mausoleum Uzing. <laughs> Why am I even reading these? Re reading all these. Uh, with strange jet black spiritual pressure that causes immense damage and afflicts uh, weaken. He has a damage reduction of 16% as a soul trait. He has 20% bruiser, 50% berserker, poise, pierce barrier, start barrier plus 10, and then paralysis duration minus 100%. So all in all, he's looks he looks to be really, really good. He's gonna be good in PvP, because he also has poise, man. He's gonna be really good. Poise, start barrier, flurry, bruiser, Pierce barrier, bro. He's gonna be insane. He actually might be a Noitora counter. Yeah, he looks to be a big time as a Noitora counter with all that, even though he's a speed attribute. I mean, he's still, yeah, he's gonna be an amazing unit to go up against Noitora. Holy crap, that's that's good. I, I already read some of it, but I really didn't look at all the information and you know, broke it down a bit. But Ichibe is looking good. And so Ohetsu Nimea wielding a sword that is one swing, one kill. Ohetsu is a melee normal attack character with the Soul Reaper killer ability. His unlockable skills include uh, flurry and enhancer, and the second, the second of which increases the duration of his boost second strong attack that also surrounds him in an aura of spiritual pressure that continuously harms nearby enemies. That's not all. Uh, that's not all though. Uh, his spiritual move has a small chance to, or his special move has a small chance to instantly kill, and he uh, can also unlock guard break and paralysis immunity, making him uh, adept at carving uh, through uh, huge swaths of enemies and extremely useful in any quest with a lot of paralysis in, uh, inducing enemies or hazards. So that's pretty good, man. He's got a lot going for him as well. Um, one thing I will say is that, yeah, he doesn't have poise like um, like uh, Ichibe. He also does have Soul Reaper Killer, which is better, I would say. And then Recharge minus 12%. So he's looking to be a hybrid character. Let's look at his stats. So 1,100 stamina, 
778 attack, 376 defense, 371 focus, and 626 SP. So that's looking pretty good, man. A lot of stamina, a lot of attack. And then, yeah, all in all, his stats are looking good. He's got Soul Reaper Killer, which is great. And so his special is Sayafushi, one swing, one kill. A lightning, a lightning fast attack of excep exceptional sharpness that inflicts immense damage and has a very small chance to instantly kill, which is also a nice little added uh, little thing there. 12% recharge. He has 40% bruiser with flurry. So that's really, really good. That's even better than uh, Ichibe. So that kind of makes up for the... So he almost, yeah, he gets that extra 20%, which adds up to his Soul Reaper killer, which, you know, against captains, it, it kind of evens out, right? Uh, Berserker plus 50%, which is great. Again, he's looking to be even a good, decent uh, hybrid unit. Enhancer with his uh, boost is looking good. Guard Break, which is great. That's an awesome skill to have nowadays. Deva Devastation plus 40%. Sprinter and Paralysis Duration. So all in all, man, this dude is looking really, really good. I don't know who's better, him or Ichibe. I would say Ichibe is probably better suited for PvP, while uh, Ohetsu's gonna be way better in PvE content, right? And autoing and just overall just gonna be amazing unit. So yeah, <laughs> that's looking awesome. So, and also I forgot to mention Ichibe is a, a speed attribute while Ohetsu is technique. And then, and then Orihime, uh, Inu, uh, you know, Determ uh, determined uh, to fight and protect, Orihime is a ranged strong attack character with the hollow killer ability. Orihime's second strong attack is a combined barrier and heal technique. She can unlock medic, healer, and frenzy, making her an excellent support character. Uh, she can also unlock weakened defense to add an extra dimension uh, to her special move, making it even more deadly. That is great. All right, so overall, the, the I would say the 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 added skills she's getting aren't as great as the other two, but let's look at her stats. So 1,094 uh, stamina, 638 attack, 358 defense, 364 focus, 798 SP. So that's that's really good. 798 SP is good. Hollow killer, which is, that's a good killer as well. Um, and then the power to protect hope. Or he may attacks with uh, Shun -sh -shun Shurika. Shun -shurika. Inflicting an immense damage. I, I'm sorry if I mis, uh, mispronounced that. She's got 12% recharge time. Bruiser plus 20%. Berserker plus 20%. Frenzy. Devastation plus 40%. Weakened defense. Sprinter. Medic. And healer. I mean, she's, she's a good support unit, like they said. Like the description said, she's going to be a good support unit. Either way, she's bae, so I'm going all in. And uh, look at the fillers. The fillers are looking to be amazing. I myself have a lot of them, most of them, I should say. But even still, though, for people that don't have the the Ichigo, Rukia, and Thousand Year Blood War, uh, Renji, and Thousand Year Blood War uh, Yachiru, this is going to be an awesome banner for you guys. Um, I myself have all of them except Yachiru, so I'm going for her as well. She's a power 14 recharge time link, which is awesome. One I've been looking for for a while now. And then there's also uh, the new Tensa, which is awesome. He's really good. Uh, Shinji, uh, Lupi, uh, Jushiro, and Shunsui. And I've been, I'm not going for the Shunsui, but I cannot like count the amount of times I've, I've missed out on this unit. But yeah, a really good banner i would say especially because of the other thousand year blood war units in there uh it's going to definitely be a banner that i think will uh, will benefit for a lot of people these are the st uh, step ups three on the first one and then after that it's 150 for step number two and then after that it's 250 after that uh step six is the important one it's one of 12 featured five star characters is a guaranteed pull there so that one's always uh it's always like that um here's the singles but i'm not going to focus too much on those because Again, like I said, they re-upped uh, re, uh, re re the, uh, the individual banners, and it's looking to be a lot more uh, beneficial to actually summon on those as well. So Ichibei's individual comes out on the 10th of January, and it ends on the 17th. So not only is it re-upped, but it's also a little longer than it's uh, usually out for. It's a 5% chance banner. And step number five uh, of the multis, 
guarantees a five-star character. So that's not something we've had in the past, and it's something that's going to be very important here. Uh, it's going to help you out with pulling uh, that unit that you're looking for. Uh, step number one is 150 orbs, and then step number two is 200 orbs. And I believe step uh, three, four, five, and six are all going to be, uh, you know, uh, 250 orbs, I would imagine. Uh, and then here are the... This thousand unit costs 25 orbs per pull. Tap the counter. Okay, so whatever. That's the same shit. And then Ichibe, that, that's him. And then it comes with Yachiru, Sejin, Yishin, Kugo. That's a pretty good banner, man. If you don't already have uh, a thousand year Blood Wars Sejin, that's a great banner to. I mean, this is a great banner to pull him on. Same with Yishin. He's a pretty decent unit. And Yachiru, again, 14 recharge time length. So. Yeah, dude, this is a good banner, individual banner. That's again for seven days from January 10th through the 17th. I hate how it brings me all the way to the to the main notice. All right, and then um, Ohetsu's uh, in individual banner, same thing. Step number five is a uh, guaranteed featured unit. And uh, same thing with this, uh, the cost of orbs. He's coming out with, alongside with uh, Kenpachi. I still don't have him. Uh, Shunsui, I do have him. Toshiro, the heart attribute. Kayan, god damn, that bastard's on every banner. So this banner's looking really good as well, man. If you don't have Kenpachi or um, or Shunsui, man, this is actually a decent banner as well, man. That's crazy. I'm surprised that they're just dropping all the Thousand Year Blood War units in there. Um, and so that's Ohetsu. And then last one is Rukia. Doesn't look to, we don't look to have a, they're not going to have a droplet banner. I think that means the reason they're doing that is just it wasn't, they weren't selling probably during the droplet banners, so this seems to be a lot better. It does look a lot better. Uh, Orihime's banner is on the 24th through the 30th. Same thing. Step number five is a guaranteed uh, featured unit. Orihime will come out with Yachiru Unahana. That is awesome. Biakuya. Biakuya. Riruka, the speed attribute one, and uh, Mind Ikaku. So, dude, this banner is also looking really, really good. Again, from the 24th through the 30th. And with that, that's all the banners that are coming out with that uh, for the Thousand Year Blood War Round 7. All of this next month is going to be Round 7. Uh, and it looks to be a really, really good time to summon, man. Those individual banners, I'm telling you, are looking to be really, really good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed. I will say that. So uh, this last thing I'll just end it off with is Renji Abarai. So we're going to be getting a familiar of Renji. And so that's coming out on the 30th, right, with, uh, with the banner. And so, I don't know, kind of interesting. These are the, the units that are going to be up, well, that are going to have that extra damage and uh, raid medals, right? You're going to be able to acquire more from that. And these are the units that are going to be in that banner or in that, in that familiar epic raid, I should say. Um, there you go. Hetsu, Ichibe, uh, Toshiro, Mugetsu, those are going to, and Nemu, those are definitely going to be like the top used. Oh, Stark is, I mean, they're all really good, actually. They're all pretty good. Ohetsu and Ichibe, since they're flurry units, I'll say they're the best. Uh, and then these are the other featured units that you can also uh, use during the, the epic raid. And so, yeah, other than that, man, that's everything we got here. Pretty exciting stuff. Surprising that we didn't get any unit with Quincy Killer. Uh, I thought that was going to be a thing, but I guess not. Um, anyways, that's all I've got for today's video. Uh, other than make sure you do your uh, Ururu and Jinta's uh, daily free gift event. Make sure you do it. It's a, an amazing event. It takes one soul ticket and you can get a lot in return. Uh, man, save up your orbs. I'm at 1,086. I'm looking to get to 2,000. I've got a, quite a bit of characters to max out. And so I'm pushing for 2,000 for when the banner comes out. So yeah, let me know in the comments how many you have. And tell me who you're most excited for. Ichibe looks to be good, guys. We were we were not disappointed, I would say. Uh, I thought we were, but luckily we weren't. Anyways, again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.